And someone says, I don't know. I think Teslas are too expensive. Well, this just in from Consumer Reports. Teslas were named the cheapest car brand to maintain over a 10-year period at just 4035 bucks. And look how cheap it is to maintain a Tesla over the first five years. Just $580 versus, say, the number 10 car brand, which is Honda, at $1,435. Yeah, almost $1,000 cheaper. And this is not, this is not including the fuel, just the repair and maintenance costs. But man, I wish we could see past the top 10 cheapest brands, though. Like, I wish we could see the bottom of the list. Like, are those brands that we've never heard of before? Oh, no, no, you've, you've definitely heard of them. Consumer Reports published this list. So here it is, so you can see what you want. Uh, but look at Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, and Land Rover. Holy crap, $4,250 in the first five years for a Land Rover? That's almost an order of magnitude more expensive to maintain and repair. Yep. And $19,250 over 10 years for a Land Rover. <laughs> That's five times more expensive. Also, I just want to point out this chart is not to scale. <laughs> you might be like, well, it does seem a little bit. No, it's not. To, they didn't do it to scale. I don't know why they didn't do it to scale. Consumer reports. Come on! Probably. It wouldn't fit on the... You would, would. Tesla would be... <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I think this is a huge part of the EV equation that most people don't understand until they own an EV, right? All those things you just accepted when you own a gas car, fuel pumps, timing belts, coolant leaks, mufflers, even most of the maintenance for the braking system disappear with EVs because there are way less moving parts to wear out. And of course, Elon agrees, posting, Tesla is the lowest cost car to maintain. But yeah, this is a hard one to sell for people because it's like, well, those costs come later. I'm just looking at the shiny car on the on the dealer lot right now, and this Land Rover looks so cool. Wow. Wow. That's like buying a car and then buying another car. I yep. mean, I guess if you're buying a Land Rover, it's like buying a car and then buying a much less expensive car. It's like you're buying a mechanic who's practically going to live in your house. I mean, for that kind of money... I mean, I guess part of buying a Land Rover is just retainer for your mechanic. I mean, if you if you're a family with two Land Rovers, you might as well just hire a mechanic to live in your house. So Tesla.